Hello and welcome back to Diamond Shine with Shanta. Today I would like to do an unboxing. Um, today we're going to be unboxing from Diamond Art Club. It is a square kit. It is called Underwater Train by Miss Butter D. Um, it is 45.1 centimeters by 62.7 centimeters or 17.7 inches by 24.7 inches. Well, when you see a Diamond Art Club box, you can tell it's a square kit if the box is blue and has a blue square and a blue strip. That's one of the newer features. Now, the older boxes, you can't tell. Oh, this is in a tight. Big old box with little bitty painting. <laughs> okay, guys, we also are given a small sticker. Um, it is um, Underwater Train Again by Miss Butter D. It gives you a little image of the painting. It lets you know what the um, diamond shape is and also the size dimensions. I like to put my small sticker in my log book, but some people like to put it on the side of their box. We also have um, a tool kit. I will show some items, but I will not show all. I will put the other items on the screen. Well, because this is a square kit, we get a pair of um, Diamond, Art, Diamond Art Club branded tweezers. We get a bag of zips. Oh, a real pretty purple washi tape. That's so pretty. And then... For our cover minder, it is a little flower. And then we get a blue pen and squishy. So I'm gonna get all this stuff out the way. So this is our painting. It comes in a nice dust bag that's branded Diamond Art Club. I like to reuse my dust bags. I store my paintings. Um, I put them right, throw them right back in the box inside the dust bag. Sometimes they're easy to open. Sometimes I have to pretty much rip them apart. I can already tell I'm going to love this just by looking at the... I love um, Miss Bird D's art. She's quickly becoming one of my favorites. I have all of her paintings so far but one. I didn't get the last one about the witch. I just honestly, y'all, I didn't want to do that background. I'm going to tell the truth. I've been diamond painting almost three years now. And I know I will not like that background, so I'm not going to put myself through that torture. Now, if it, but if it had some food in it, I would have put myself through the torture for the food. All right. This is a nice size. I, that's another reason why Miss Bird, these paints, I like them so far. All of them have so far been nice size. They have not been just ginormous. And she always uses these really pretty, muted, pale, um, not pale, Lord, muted pastel colors. And I love them. I love the blues up here. Then we go on the purples and they're all kind of pinks and peaches. A little bit of green. I just love it. So I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see the details of the canvas really well. A little bit more because this paint is so little. So at the top of the painting, we have our jellyfish and some fish. I love underwater scenes, so I'm already loving it. Um, our character she has on her um, headphones. She's looking out of the window. She's in. A, she's on an underwater train. She is reading a book. I love to read. She has her a little mug of tea. Cause that's a tea bag. I love tea. I usually do loose leaf tea though. 
This is her little bag. I'm not sure. It's a cat, but I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like a little stuffed animal or something. Um, she's sitting there. She has a bandaid on her knee. She's hurt herself some kind of way. But this is just so cute. And it is such a nice size. To me, and I know that some people, this might be large. But to me, this paint is like a baby painting. It's so little. I just, I love it. All right. So, we look at our large sticker sheet. We get stickers that are perforated so that they, you can just tear them off when you get up. Um, it has um, 51 colors. And we're using letters, numbers, and symbols. Um, let y'all come look at those. I'm trying to see if any of them are similar. I don't see anything that I feel like will mess me up. I think it's all right. We get a really nice image of the painting. Um, it gives you the name, the artist, Miss Butter D, a start and end date. And then it also gives you the diamond shape and the painting dimensions on the bottom. I love it. So looking at the painting, um, Diamond Art Club, their canvases are um, scalloped with some type of surgeon. The back of them is a real soft back. It's kind of velvety feeling. I don't know any other canvas that has that feeling. Um, as far as our legend goes, we have a legend on the top left and the bottom right. Um, also, as far as specialty drills, we are getting one AB in this kit, and we are getting three fairy dust. So one AB and three fairy dust. That's going to be beautiful. So let's go ahead and just take a look at the drills. Um, as you look, the drills are labeled, so if you store your canvas separate from your drills, um, you'll know what goes with what. Excuse me for the um, crinkling. I said this before, but if you love pastel colors, and for this painting, if you love pinks and reds and colors like that. This is the paint for you, kind of like um, Witch's Bedroom. It just has a little bit of blue um, thrown in. Have 3824, 3713, um, uh, 335, 961, 3753, 304, two bags, 964, that's just beautiful. Two bags. Um, 3712, two bags. 760, 3831, 598. And I've um, one and only AB, 125. It's that real pretty kind of mint green AB. It's so pretty. 754, 948, and 600, which is like a real pretty hot pink. Thirty-eight, thirty-six, thirty-seven, oh five, three sixty-nine, five fifty-three. Uh, first fairy dust drill is um thirty-seven, forty-seven. I hope you can catch that in the camera. I think you can see it in that bottom corner. Fairy dust drills are just standard drills. They have like a little mica coating of shimmery glitter on top of them. Our next fairy dust is. 993, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. 3823, um, 552, 3024, 718, 209, 932, 
4053, 3608, 152, 309, 150, um, 554, 153, um, 37, 2, um, um, last fair dust drill is 747, oh, that's so pretty, it's like another kind of mint, no, it's kind of a real light aqua, oh, that's so pretty, 159, 3835, 3865, 891, 818, 347, 3806, 745, 3689, and 647. Well, those are some beautiful colors. Like I said, if you love pastels and pinks and aquas, this is the painting for you. All right, so let's look at our um, one only AB, which is 125, which is the symbol one on the canvas. I am definitely, I am definitely going to zoom in so we can see good because this canvas is so small. It'll be really easy. So if we see our one is going straight. It's like light shining down from the, um, from the top of the water all up in there. It is also kind of dotted around in the water right here. Not right here, though, but right here, up in here. Oh, my goodness, the jellyfish. A lot of the jellyfish is AB all up through here. All this AB. Not the bottom part, but all this top part is AB. Then going around here is white AB. This line right here. Also coming more down from the from the top of the water, the sun shining through the water. As we kind of keep going, um, again looking at the bubbles, it's a little bit more because we still got the sun rays um, shooting down from the from the top of the water. Um, it is the steam that's coming out of her mug is a b. Anything else? Am I missing anything, guys? If y'all see anything, let me know. If I miss something, yell out and tell me. Okay, I think that's all for the one AB. Now let's go to our fairy dust. Um, my first one is the percent sign. It's that real pretty light, kind of light blue um, fairy dust drill. Um, let's see, I would assume it's in the water. So let's see. Hmm. Not seeing it though. Let me keep going over. Hmm. Well, we didn't get a lot of it. And you know, Down Nut Club does give you 20% more drills. But I am not seeing it. I'm just going to move on. I'll come across it at some point. Our next one is R. The symbol R is our next fairy dust drill. So I automatically see that in her headphones right here. Kind of outlining this coral. All up through here. Coral. Um, let me see what else is R. Also up in the core here. And then if you kind of is there any R over here? Yep. Okay. This whole section right here is kind of R, pretty much. I don't understand why I'm not seeing the, per the percent sign. Let me see any more R. There's one down there, none of her pants, something like that. Let me look up here on this side. Uh, let me see any R. Nope. Okay. I'm getting a little perplexed because I still don't see the percent sign. I thought by now I would have really have seen it. So let me do some real good looking. Okay. I see it. It's a little bit right there. Y'all see it? It's in the pool. How I missed it, I don't know. Because <laughs> it's blatant to me now. 
And let me see, do I see it anywhere else? I think, y'all, that's going to be the only place. It's going to be, like, all in the pool. Okay, so pretty much for the uh, um, that real pretty fairy dust drill, it's just going to be all in the pool with the R. All right, our last symbol is the anchor symbol. I see the anchor symbol is in, I don't know if this is like a tablet. I'm not sure. Let me see if I can tell. It's her ticket. Okay, so her whole ticket is fair dust. Um, this coral right here is all fair dust. Fair dust all in this coral. It is fair dust in the fish right here. All up in here. It's in a little bit in this fish. No, I'm wrong. That's a five. Nope, scrap that. But look what's in that fish, y'all. Look at that. I am sick of these percents. More percent signs. Yeah. That's bad. Let's see if it's any more of the anchor. I don't think so. I think that's it, guys. Pretty much in that um, piece of coral and in her ticket. All right, guys. That is um, all I have for you all today. I just think this painting is just so stinking cute. I really love this painting. If you all love pastel colors and um, aquas and all these pretty pinks and peaches, yellows, this is the painting for you. It is also a really nice manageable size. I just love it. It is um, a lot of color blocking. It's a little bit of confetti, but it's not bad. And it's not so much color blocking that you're going to get bored. You'll be able to switch your color up with the color blocking. So those that's the kind of color blocking I like. Like this, where it's big, it's big sections of color, but it, then you can switch to something else. You go to this one, and then you can switch to that one, and you can switch to that one. So that's the kind of color blocking I love. I don't like it when it's all just one color for 20 years. I can't stand it. Alrighty, I would like to thank everyone for taking the time out of their day to watch my video. I really do appreciate it. I hope everyone is having a great day today, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye!